And if anybody understands the importance of life, it is the one who gave it so you can get it. He gave up his life. Imagine if Jesus was worried about his life. He would not have made it an offering in order to give the whole world life. The Bible is clear. The life we now live, we live by faith of the Son of God. That is what, Genesis, that is what uh, 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 Galatians 2 verse 20 talk about. The life I now live in the flesh. I now live by the faith of the Son of God who died for me, who loved me, and gave himself for me. That life is the life we are talking about. Jesus said, do not worry about your life. And as a matter of fact, there's a scripture where Jesus says, you know, if anybody, anybody who will not lose their life, anybody who gives up their life is the one who's going to find it. But those that hold on to it are the ones who are going to lose it. What does it mean? It means that our life as it is, is the seed we used to exchange for the life of Jesus. A life for a life. So that when you come to faith, it is not the life as you know it, God is trying to preserve it. The life you have is what God wants you to sow. Because the life we have, the life of, the, of this old nature of sin, is a life that is plagued with so many worries. This life of the flesh has been hacked. Can you imagine walking around with a computer that has been completely hijacked by hackers? You check your bank account, they say it. You do anything, they say it. How many of you would hold such a, an iP such a technology, an iPad? You would let it go. You would go and have it fixed or you would throw it away so that you can protect your uh, information and your, your privacy. Well, I'm here to tell you the life of all men, the life of the flesh. When we are, all, when we are born, we are born to a life. That is a life. We breathe. When we, be, when we were children, when we came out of our mother's womb crying, we had life. We had life, natural life. What we did not have is eternal life, which is the life of Jesus. But what do we do? We hold on to this natural life. You know, the thing with the way and our perceptions of it. But the truth of the matter, Jesus is saying, if you do not give up that natural life with all its entrapment, with all its idiosyncrasies, then what's going to happen is this. The enemy is going to use the, the, the fact that the, this life has already been hacked with fear. The fear of death. The fear of lack. The fear of this. This is the life of the flesh. The natural life. But the truth of the matter, even people who are not born again don't want anything to do with Jesus. They have life, but it's not the eternal life. It's not the life of the Son of God. It's just natural life. Yes, God is the author of it. But the purpose of natural life is to bring you to the one who carries, who carries the jar of eternal life. So that now at that point you meet him, you can exchange that old life of failure, sin, and fear into the life of the Son of God.